Hey, welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you a review of the Fendi Nano Fendigraphy. I'm going to show you several ways to wear it and then show you what fits inside. I want to make sure that we get our money's worth out of this bag. So if that's something that you're interested in, then keep watching. So I picked this up in the color pink, but to me it's more of a light peach color. I'm not really a pinky girl. My favorite color to wear is black. But I do like peach, so I was drawn to this color because I wanted a bag for the spring and the summertime. Um, I took a look at the black one in the store and I took a look at the, like the signature Fendi one. This bag comes in a variety of colors, any color you can imagine, they got it. So, but I really like this color. Um, it has a gold, it's more like a gold foil interior if you can see that which I thought was kind of cute at first I thought it might make might cheapen the bag a little bit but I think it's cute now uh, so this little tiny bag is uh, 14 centimeters high um, 5 centimeters deep and then 16 and a half centimeters wide um, it's comparable to a Louis Vuitton mini pochette. So here's kind of um, my little mini pochette. And I, I think it probably fits the same amount of things inside of it. So this bag has three D rings and then a big lobster claw. Um, I like that because it makes it multifunctional. You can attach different straps to it, different handles. It just gives you a variety of ways to wear it. Um, in the store, I saw a, like a Fendi chain strap, but it was like more than this bag. So I am not buying a strap that is more than this bag. You know, I could just buy another bag, right? Or put that money towards a more expensive bag. So I have some, some straps at home that I actually put on here and wear them. And I'm going to show you that a little later. But if you wanted to buy the Fendi strap, you could. It looks very, very cute. Um, this bag comes in a larger size. I'll insert a clip here of me trying on in the store. But I decided to go with this size because I don't have any mini bags. And I just kind of wanted to give the trend a try. Okay, y'all, now come close. This is a mini bag. Don't expect it to fit everything that you usually carry around, okay? It's gonna fit like three or four things, your main essential items. If you're a doctor, it ain't gonna fit your stethoscope. If you're a lawyer, it ain't gonna fit your case files. If you're a grandma, it ain't gonna fit the candy for your grandkids in your checkbook, okay? It's gonna fit the basics. So that's what we are gonna do. Now, when I buy an expensive item or a small item like this I like to look at it in the store which I did and then kind of think about scenarios in which I'd be wearing it so say you're going to the grocery store and you just need your keys your ID maybe your uh, cash and your uh, debit card and I don't know maybe some chapstick okay and your phone okay of course your phone so this fits my Samsung S7 without the case. Okay, I know it's an old phone, but one thing about me, I'm gonna keep a phone in a car until the wheels fall off, so don't judge. But it does fit inside of my Nano Fendigger V. All right, keys. Card holder with my license, my debit card, and a little bit of cash fits inside and I can't leave home without my lip smackers chapstick all right everything fits and I'm ready to go to the grocery store okay say you're going to a wedding of course you want to take your phone And your lipstick to reapply. Car keys. Um, gum. Let's see if this whole pack will fit in here. Maybe some hand sanitizer because you're going to be eating.
maybe lotion because you're gonna be washing your hands and you want soft hands at the wedding don't really need your card holder because you're not going to be buying anything so I would just kind of leave that um, in the car maybe in another bag and let's see if we can zip it everything fits inside okay your man just called and he said put on something sexy I'm taking you out tonight so of course you're gonna like oh what am I gonna wear what am I gonna wear what bag am I gonna take well you're gonna take this one okay so of course you need your phone uh don't really need your card holder because it's a date he should be paying to so leave that sucker at home um, of course your sexy red lipstick um, even though he's probably driving you do need your house keys so I would take this um, some gum to freshen your breath and you always want to take that emergency 20 or your debit card so I would put maybe one of those in there because you just never know you know a, a, a woman has to be prepared and if it fits my compact to powder my nose and it does fit so there we go ready for date night and just be aware that um, if you're gonna put your phone in here so my phone does fit but I'm not able to snap it and wear it as a wristlet I probably won't be wearing it that way very much if at all I'll probably always wear it with a chain on it um, so that I can wear it crossbody or over my shoulder. But just be aware that if you do put your phone on here, you probably won't be able to clamp it. So as you can see, this bag actually fits more than what it looks like it can fit. Um, and I think it's because it's a little wider on the bottom. Um, and then the, the top is a little more narrow. So as you can see, I had to kind of like, uh, you know, finagle my phone inside but it, I mean it does fit so I think this bag is perfect for when you need to just put a few things in just your essentials and and head out the door so there are so many ways to wear the nano thin digraphy I was so shocked my creative juices were flowing and I think I came up with maybe 10 or 11 different ways to wear it um, so because of all of these little D rings and this clamp, it makes it so multifunctional and you get your money's worth, right? I mean, we buy these expensive bags and sometimes we wear them, sometimes we don't wear them, but the goal is to try to get your money's worth and your cost per wear. And I think this little bag right here, definitely you will get your cost per wear with all of the different ways to wear it. And I figured them out so that you don't have to. So keep watching and I will show you all the different ways to wear this little beauty.
the newest bag in my collection. I am so happy with it and I'm so glad I picked it up. I hope I was able to give you some useful information. So if you're on the fence about buying this bag, that you'll use this video and the information I provided and make your decision. Um, I highly recommend it. It's so cute. She's adorable and um, I think you'll find so many different ways to wear it. Um, I always find these type of videos helpful when I am considering buying an expensive bag. So hopefully I was able to help you. If you like these type of handbag videos, please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.